Hello students, uh, welcome back. We're looking at the law of universal gravitation. This is an example that I think really helps to tie in some of the previous ideas that we've learned about acceleration and then also looking at this law of universal gravitation. So um, Newton said that the force of gravity is going to equal this gravitational constant which we know is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th times the mass of one object times the mass of another object divided by the distance between them squared. So um, if you're a person standing on the uh, face of the earth, um, let's figure out the force of gravity um, that's on you. Let's go ahead and, and, and do some solving and see what we get here. Um, so um, let's put in what we know. Well, we know the gravitational constant. We'll put that in right there. Um, we don't know what your mass is. It doesn't matter. Um, we know that the mass of the earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. So we'll put that in right there. Um, and we know that the actual radius of the earth, and so you'd want to measure this distance from the center of the earth to the center of you, is 6.38 times 10 to the 6th uh, meters, and we're going to have that squared. Let's go ahead and multiply these numbers together and square this, and we'll come down to uh, what we have right here. And I've written out some of this to sort of make it go by more quickly, because you can all, I'm sure, solve these problems pretty easily. But if we were to take this and then divide that by that, here's what happens. Um, all of a sudden, we get a number that we've seen a lot. We get 9.8. So we divide this by this, we get 9.8 times mass 1, which is you. You're, you're mass 1 in this equation, and we already defined the Earth as mass 2. So look at that. So the force of gravity equals 9.8 times your mass. And uh, so what is that? Well, that's acceleration. That's Newton's second law right there. Uh, force net equals mass times acceleration. So what we've done is we've just taken Newton's law of universal gravitation and shown how uh, the acceleration of gravity is right in there. So essentially, this equation right here, force equals mass times acceleration, net force equals mass times acceleration, is found right there within that equation. Um, and, uh, and if you go ahead and calculate it out, sure enough, you find out that you get this number 9.8, which we know is the acceleration of gravity. So, uh, so keep that in mind, and this is kind of a cool way to use the law of universal gravitation in order to prove that um, the acceleration of gravity here on the Earth is in fact 9.8. So you could actually use this method then to find the acceleration of gravity for any planet. All you're going to have to know is the mass and the radius. Um, and you'll be able to find its acceleration of gravity at its surface. So kind of a cool handy trick to be able to use and it will come in to play when you're working on some of these physics problems.